We're in this section of the course known as right-of-way. And right-of-way is always a big issue when it comes to intersections. So one of the things we need to do is define the difference between a traditional intersection and a non-traditional intersection. And I've come to the conclusion that there are only two differences between a traditional intersection and a non-traditional intersection. The pictures on the left are all going to be traditional. And the pictures on the right, obviously, are going to be non-traditional intersections. What are the two differences? Here we go. When this car approached this intersection, it could easily assume that if it wanted to turn right at the next intersection or this cross street up here, that it could simply get in this far right lane, come up here and make the right, and the turn would be complete and the driver would get to go in the direction that he intended. However, over here, these incredibly complicated non-traditional intersections, we actually see that we've got this intersection right here. This is sort of hard to follow. But you go here, and you're going to end up, you came off over here to the right. So you exited to the right to come around here to end up going back to your left to get on this freeway that's headed this way. So this is one of the major differences between traditional and non-traditional intersections, is that as you approach the intersection, you should have a reasonable assumption that if you get in the far right lane to make the turn, you should be able to go to the right. And again, if you get in the far left lane and go to the intersection, you should be able to make this left and head up there, okay? Again, we see the traditional intersection being set up here in this instance and this would be the other difference between the two intersections is that as you approach the intersection they're level this street intersects this street on the same level whereas over here this one is clearly above this one so they tend to go over one another they still call it an intersection but one goes over the other one okay the other thing to understand at a traditional intersection, and this is real important if you're taking your driving test, as you approach that intersection, you want to position your car here if you want to go straight or if you want to make a left-hand turn. If you want to make a right-hand turn, then you're going to stop in front of that stop sign and sort of angle your car off to the right, okay? So again, the two differences between traditional and non-traditional intersections are going to be the level and a reasonable assumption that right goes right and left goes left.